Hey, what's up YouTube viewers? Tech Talk here, and for this video, I will be setting up the Netgear AC750 Wi-Fi range extender. First, let me show you the device. You have the power indicator, device, WPS, and router indicators on the front. And on the side here, you will see the reset button, WPS button, and the power button. It's a very small, quite compact device and will hopefully be a great Wi-Fi range extender. As you can see, a lot of computer, computer components on the inside, so that's a good sign. Let's get started. First, let's plug it in. And the light, light will be blinking red. Now it's steady red, as you'll see right there. Let's turn the light back on. Now the power indicator has turned green. Once the power indicator has turned green, let's go to our device, whether it's a computer, tablet, phone, or a laptop. And in this case, let's pull down the notifications and search for Wi-Fi networks. Now we have our list of networks right here. So let's select Netgear Extender. And immediately you see another green light saying device. It's lit up. Don't forget to press the WPS button when you first turn on the device though. Then you'll get a notification saying internet may not be available. That's because it's not right now. Let's, so let's keep the Wi-Fi connection. I'm right-handed so I'm holding the phone with my hand right now. So the first thing it's going to do is take you. Now when you try to go to a browser or any site for that matter you'll say this you'll see this site can't be reached. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the URL address bar and type in www.myWiFiEXT.net just like you see right there. Type it in just like that, right there. Now, once you've done that, select New Extender Setup. Now, you're going to want to create an account, if you have not already, with Netgear Genie. So let's do that. Let's make a username, password, and select the security questions and give an answer and say next. So I'm going to do that in a moment and I'll pause the video and be right back. Once you have completed the questions and answers and set up your account, select next. It says your Wi-Fi extender is not connected to the router. Do you want Netgear Genie to help? First, say save this information, and next, say yes, because it would be best to have help. Sorry, notification is popping up there. All right, so I, this router has both a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz. All right, so the 5G or 5 gigahertz has a signal strength of 73% and the main one has a 100% signal signal right here so let's select that one now the other is the older Wi-Fi extender and the other one is a fire stick so that is a 37% let's select our current router but you can only select one bandwidth, so let's select the 2.4 gigahertz. And uncheck mark the 5 gigahertz because that has that has more interference. Next, we want as little interference as possible. The next thing it's going to want you to do is type in the password to your current router. The current password. So let's do that now. Select next. Now select update. It says passwords are saved on your Google account. Say update. 
and I think it would be best to create new passwords for both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz in this Wi-Fi extender. So let's do that now. What it's doing is it's mirroring and extending your own Wi-Fi network. So let's create new passwords for this device right here. So let's select that and use a different password. Now if you want to, you can use the same password as the existing network. But that's up to you. Once you're done, select next. And the next step, it says we're applying your settings. This may take a moment. Just give it a few moments and wait. Now you'll see the third light lit up. It says router. The router light is now lit up on your Wi-Fi extender. And we're just awaiting the results. Now I'm obviously blocking the passwords, but what you are going to see is those two, are those two things right there. It'll show up as 2GEXT. Netgear 5.5 2GEXT. Okay, now all four lights are lit up. Power, device, WPS, and router. All right, I tried it with my fire stick, and it's working properly. Everything seems fine. Just select right there, and... Then click Continue. Oh, but first, you need to reconnect to the, uh, the Wi-Fi extender. So, let's see. Right there. 2G. There's 5G. Select 2G. And enter your password again. Select Continue on your device. Checking the quality of the internet connection. Connected. All right, now we are set up and ready to go. Let's do a search. Let's go to Amazon. And there it is. Back to Google. So let's select random videos. Wishing your man was here? So far, so good. We're putting... So far, really good. Pretty good. I know it's not a joke. The Pentagon is... Let's try a movie. Not bad. Really good. Let's watch a movie preview. I made a promise to protect her. I don't want to show much because of copyright, but. So far, it seems pretty good. It's in my grasp, and you sent this very. I would definitely recommend it. All right, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Leave a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Peace. Signing out from Tech Talk.